<laughs> the cats are what? trying to sabotage my life and pull down the back. house. Alright, watch yourself. Oh my dog. Oh my god, my dog's behind. Alright guys, so today I'm gonna be filming a makeup tutorial because I wanted to remind you that I actually do post makeup vids every once in a while, not just vlogs. Let's just get into it and see how we go. Anyway, I didn't even intro. I'm Maddie Edwards. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. First, I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. For some reason, I want to spend $55 on a t-shirt that says tequila tacos in hair life. Oh no. As you can see, the pump is pretty much broken. This Primer is so expensive. The actual primer itself is really good. The packaging is for the absolute bin and I will not be repurchasing. If I'm buying an expensive product like Pat McGrath or like, I don't know, by Terry, Shantakai, something like that, I want the packaging to perform well and I want it to feel luxurious. The packaging for that primer is a black plastic bottle with a sticker wrapped around it saying Pat McGrath. Not a vibe. Isn't that what you know with everything? Nah. My Pat McGrath foundation is like a heavy glass bottle. It feels so Ow! good and I love it. Next up, I'm so in love with the NARS Tinted Glow Booster right now. This is in the shade medium. It's probably too dark for me, but I quite like it if I'm wearing it alone because it does give me a bit of life back into my face. It doesn't have much coverage. It's like a gel consistency. It just kind of does what it says it's going to do. It gives me a bit of glow. So now it kind of just looks like I've got a tanned face. I really like it. I'd love to wear it alone, but to Today, we're gonna put foundation on top because my skin's not looking its best, so I do want some more coverage than this. Brody! Next up, we're going in with the Oxygenetics Foundation. This is in the shade Creme. This is like the third time I've tried this foundation and I freaking love it. I love putting products on my face that I know aren't bad for it. This also is a bit too dark for me, but we're just gonna work with it today. I always like to avoid my nose when I'm putting foundation on because as soon as you put it on your nose, that's when you start to look cakey, in my opinion. I've got a bit of eczema as well, so as I blend it out, it's going to kind of stick to those areas. So apparently this foundation was created or formulated for like post-surgery patients, like people who get facelifts and stuff like that and they need to have downtime but they still want to wear makeup. I'll have to do some more research, but... Seriously, lots of celebrities rave about this foundation. I'm just going to further cover up my blemishes with the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I don't have my exact shade for blemish covering. And I'm also just going to place this light shade under my eyes as well. And then just dot that darker shade over so it blends a bit better. For the under eyes, I'm just going to highlight that even more with the Shape Tape Glow Wand. This is by Tarte and it's in the shade A Glow. And it's got a bit of like shimmer through it almost. Not really shimmer, it's like light reflecting particles. It really just helps fight that like shadow you kind of get under your eyes. So you can probably see why I love that concealer so freaking much. It's amazing. I have a full on mustache. I like to use a beauty blender usually for my under eyes, but I like this brush a lot, so we're getting adventurous. Hi, Hi, Hi. doll. This Hello, mommy. Funny. I'm so happy that those cats stopped oh, now. I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder for under my eyes because I'm looking pretty darn dewy underneath there. I'm going in with bronzer and I'm just going to use my trusty old Shantakai Radiance Gel Bronzer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use that on a beauty blender and just kind of place it on my cheekbones. Oh, look how good that bronzer is. It really just does the work for you. Blush, I'm going in with my Jouer Rose Gold Little Mini Duo. And I'm going to use both of these shades, so just swirl it. That's not a swirl, but... And she is very pigmented. Now, I'm going to use one of my new fave products, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. It's got this little cushion. It's not very sanitary, because it's like this, but I don't wash my brushes anyway, so it's not like I care.
There we go. So that is my face done. Let me yeah. zoom you in a little bit for brows. Brush them up. And I'm just going to use the pencil to fill in any gaps and draw some tails on them because I'm still tailless pretty much from the last video when I shaved my brows. And then I'm just gonna use this Hourglass Clear Gel. Run that through my brows and make the hair stand up a little bit so that they look a bit fuller than they actually are in real life. Oh, that's a good brow. So that is my brows done. I really like these brows. Now we're gonna do a really simple eye look. Um, so here I have the Mecha Max Zoom Stick and it's in the shade Olive, I think. Yeah, it is. And I'm gonna do a pretty like graphic look, I think. I don't think I'm gonna blend it out. I think I just want like a bit of a funky, graphic, bold eye look. Like I've got winged liner on and then just carry it through my crease. That is such a stunning color, isn't it? So I'm just gonna tidy that up. I just got this baby brush. Jesse, this nail polish dries so quickly. Pardon? I'm gonna do my other eye off camera because my memory is about to run out, so be right back. Guys, I have to show you what I'm dealing with right now. So cute, cat lumps. I really like the look of this. I kind of wish it was a bit rounder and softer rather than, but it's too late for that now. I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Black Gel Liner. I might actually put it on this brush first, rather than just go in with the liner itself because I feel like I don't have as much control if I do that. And I just want this to be pretty chill. Just stamp it on like the outer third bit so that it looks like I have thicker lashes than I do. Jess is in the worst mood because she just got punished because she left a plate on the Scott. table. Scott ruins my life. <laughs> She left a plate on the table and now she has to do the dishwasher for a week and she's blaming it on Scott it and his Scott. cat. It is Scott! I want to... No, I'm not... Honey, your kids are going to smell like Dorito farts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting this in my inner corner. And then for lashes, I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Damn Girl. This is my current fave mascara because it really just packs the mascara it's on. so good. I love it. Yeah. It's like how people... Should I put <clears throat> mascara on my lower lashes? Maybe just no. the tiniest bit. And I'm just going to use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on my lips. Hello, no. I'm going to finish that off with Touches Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Only three, otherwise your face will start melting off. Will your makeup just get so oily? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we're done guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was pretty random and it's probably going to be really hard to edit because there was so much going on in the background. But hopefully it's still a bit of like an escape for you guys. And I will see you in my next video, which will be a vlog next week. So have a good weekend. Bye, love you. Mwah.